you have reached the Airships Undecided podcast. We are unavailable to, t- to have this podcast right now. However, we are using a old podcast. Beep! Million dollars but, Mike. <laughs> but million dollars but. You, you know, the first person to ever do that Yes. Was Jennifer Lopez. Really? Yeah, she insured her butt for a million dollars. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> is it still worth a million dollars? I'm suggesting it's worth more. There's this thing that, you, you know, quantitative methods of business like the call inflation. Oh, yes. Yes. How about Kim Kardashian's bottom, her behind, her derriere? I, 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 I'm a... Oh, well, I, I would I would have said that the plastic is worth more than a million dollars. Yes. But considering how I know how they do their surgery, uh, there's, there's no plastic. Yeah. It's a shame. Um, because what they do is they do a liposuction. Yes. And they stick the fat straight into your bum. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like redistribution of fat. Yes. Well, you just sell your fat off then. Yes. And just reinsert it into another body part. How much would you sell your fat for? I don't know. How much is insulation these days? <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> but anyway, um, million dollars, but you have to be someone's slave for a whole month. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. Yeah, I'll take the million dollars. Yeah? Even if it was in Zimbabwe, I would still take it. Why is that? Because it's still worth it. Really? Why is that? Yeah, it'll be great. Being someone's slave for a whole month would still be worth it? Yeah. Why? For a million dollars? Sure. Oh, really? Yeah, it's better than minimum wage. Oh, true. Okay. <laughs> How about whole year? You have to be someone's slave for a whole Ooh, year. Yeah, well, yeah well, 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 that's the debatable one. Okay. That's good. Yeah. We need debatable ones. Yes. So, if it is still New Zealand dollars, yes. then sure. Yes. If it was around, I, I would do it for around about a hundred thousand. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. How about this? A um, million dollars, but all the paper that you touch will combust within twenty-four hours. Now, now, f- firstly, you need to understand that. What do you mean by combust? Poof! Fire. Uh, it's only the paper itself burns. Nothing, it, nothing else burns. Nothing else burns. Yeah, and in, in essence, the paper destroys itself within twenty four hours. Yeah, but, but yeah, because but because the reason why I want to bring this up does yeah because I'm talking about does it combust slowly? Does it combust fast? No, it combusts like Fawkes, the phoenix from Harry Potter, very quickly. Just basically, poof, gone. Okay. Um. Huh. Yeah, uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Why is that? Because it won't be that much of a fire hazard. As I said, only the paper burns, and nothing else would burn. Yeah. But what if, what if everyone, what if it was just a normal fire? What if everyone else, everything else can burn? Yeah, I would say no. <laughs> of course not. Do you have one for me? Well, well, well there, there, there's a few things that I do want to bring up. Yeah? <laughs> and the funny part is because like, we, like, we, we were discussing this over lunch. And I'm like, I, I'm going to be quiet here. Yeah. Because I don't want to bring it up. Because it'll be great for the podcast. Yeah, continue. Bad part is. Yes. I forgot it. <laughs> Mike? I lost track of mine. Oh, Mike! Uh, why didn't you write it down or something? Why didn't you uh, put a reminder on yourself? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, but it's okay. Um, y- usually I come up with stuff on the f- on the fly. Oh, yes. As opposed to me, who plans everything out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because yeah, that's what you like to do. You like to plan things out accordingly. Yes. But for me, I'm like, okay, I can do this on the fly. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> because... I, I'm that sort of person who brings up stuff just willy-nilly. Ah, oh, yes. And, and, and that's why I'm, 
I'm not that great at debating. Yeah. But like, for instance, if that if it got cut down to five minutes prep time, yeah, then I would win. Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Hey, um, you know how in the previous podcast we basically said that uh, meditation is um no, mindfulness is meditation turning white. Yes. Other th- other things that turn white, um, you know, appropriated by the European culture. Teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Bread? Uh, no, no, no. Things that are... are <laughs> <laughs> Mike, do be serious. Things that are appropriated by the European culture into something. So, you know, change from one thing to another thing because the Europeans thought, oh, I like it. I, we're going to steal that idea. Best idea. Trench warfare? Trench warfare? Oh, yeah, that's, that was a mouldy thing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a mouldy thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah I, I always go straight for the mouldy thing. Yeah. Um, so trench warfare, who was it invented by, and at what year? By the what time? Be- by the way, because of him, we had World War. We had the methods of World War One. Yes. We had this Maori chief who basically invented trench warfare. Who was he? And okay. when he and when did he invent it? I don't know. Yeah. Um. It was in eighteen forty three. Battle of this. That's the New Zealand wars, right? Yes. I mean, honestly, we Kiwis do invent a lot of craziest things. I cannot believe we invented trench warfare. Like, how did we do that? <laughs> now, 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 now you, we have to talk about the story. Yeah. Be- because um, most Māori pa yeah. just used very cheap fencing. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, like we, had, we had no tools. Māori had no tools other than an axe, pretty much. Yes. So And a hoe. And a hoe. And we're not talking about women here. We're talking about a big piece of green green jade used to dig stuff. Yes. Like a garden hoe. Garden hoe. Yes. Yes. Not your normal variety hoe. Not a normal variety hoe, no. No. So, because there's, there was usually a gap between um, the, 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 the piece of timber and the ground. Yes. Right? Because like in a normal fence, you've got to put the foundation posts in. Right? Yes. Yes. So there's a little gap there. So what they realised was because back in those days, the British would technically aim for your chest. Yes. And shoot straight. Yes. And they thought around this by digging trenches around the facility of of the fencing, yes. So and the gun would go between the fence post and the ground. Oh, that's clever. Yes. I might just link up a diagram of that on how we Kiwis invented um, trench warfare by mistake. Yeah. <laughs> just what the hell? <laughs> and um, there is a famous battle of Gate Park. Yeah. And if you don't know where Gate Park is, um, it's inland, inland Totoma. Okay. Just a little bit more inland, but it's still part of Totoma. Right. And uh, Tauranga, by the way, is a coastal coastal town slash city, city, and it's also uh, one of the ports. Yes. Yes. Um, generally, um, for Pa. Yes. It's, it's generally around a natural landmark. Yes. Right? Like, take for instance, like, close to the ocean. Mm. In a, um, surrounding a river. Yeah. Um, uh, like, you get one of those horseshoe parts of the river. Yeah. That's where the, generally a par would be, because you've got more accessibility to the water. Oh, right. But in this case, it was on a hill. Right? Another good natural defence area. Yes. So they would have the central sleeping par right in the middle and everything else surrounding it. Yes. Right? So what they did is that they dug tunnels out of the par in several different directions. Oh, clever. Right? So what they did was they were surrounded and the British 
ambushed the path and saw that no one was there. Ooh. They had escaped from the tunnels and then ambushed it from the inside. Oh, clever. Yes. Clever. So it's kind of like a reverse... Um, what's that war movie about the hill? Cluster? General Cluster? That one? No, 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 no. It's a German thing about the quest for some hill. And they just exploded the hill, which means it, it decimated all of the tunnels that the Germans have made previously. But it's okay. Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah. So, hmm. Million dollars but. Yes. You had to cosplay as part of Sailor Moon family. No. <laughs> too cold. If you ask during the summer, maybe I'll accept it. Right now it's too cold with the short, short skirts. Fair enough. If it was summer, and if it was like Armageddon, yeah. would you do it? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, and, and, and by all means... If you want me to, I'll dress up as tuxedo mask. Oh, that's cute. Um, other things that white people have stolen. Yes. Other ideas white people have stolen, I mean. <sighs> what have white people stolen from other countries? Um, can I say pastry? So which country was that from? France. Pa pastry. France? Yeah, but pa but the French people invented pastries themselves, and they're white, therefore... Oh, Okay. Okay, uh, I, I, I see what you mean now. Yeah. So, other things like uh, yoga. It's an Indian thing, but all the hipsters of uh, San Francisco seem to enjoy doing it. They just they seem to make it their own. Um, huh. And then you have random people saying namaste, though they probably didn't quite fully understand what, what it means. <laughs> I, I know this is largely inappropriate. Yeah. Can I say blackface? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Man, what? <laughs> That's racist! <laughs> the question of blackface is so racist, it's just... <laughs> hey, um, you know, what the, you know what the ultimate blackface film is these days? The, the modern blackface film? Tropic Thunder? No. No. Um, the horror film Get Out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, well, the concept... Okay, the concept and the plot twist of... Get Out is, resembles a lot like blackface, except it's like a modern, more technolog technologically advanced blackface. Yeah. So I wouldn't show, give you the full plot twist, but yeah, that's what it's basically <laughs> about. <laughs> and of course, the fact that um, white people just basically stole the concept of blackness, that's like stealing. That, that counts. Yeah. Can I say curry? Yeah. <laughs> Europeanized curry is just not. It's just a bland, watered-down version of the legit curry. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm just, just trying to think of what else. Halloween? Which country was that from? Mexicans? No, no, no. I'm pretty sure we had Halloween before the Mexicans. Okay. Because it was originally the Day of the Dead. Yeah. But Halloween was a separate concept. It was actually basically the All Hallows' Eve, a.k.a. the day before All Saints' Day. Um, oh, any sort of superfood? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no! <laughs> You're so right. I mean, um, kale? Asahi? Um, quinoa? Oh, no, I was talking about um, aki berries. No, 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 quinoa's part of, it, part of the whole supergroup stolen by white people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, chocolate? Yeah, that was a long time ago. Uh, what else? Coffee? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh. oh. Damn, I'm good. Um. Goji berries? Yeah. It's like, this is some mythical food blessed by this priest, therefore it must be good for me, therefore we must all get it. Yeah. It's like, no. <laughs> um. Saris. 
The you yeah. know those Indian sari, yeah. 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 And you know those bohemian gypsy fashion. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh my goodness, I'm so gypsy, this is so fabulous, and just like, and the Romanians are like, nope. <laughs> the Romanians, I don't think the Romanians appreciate you basically taking their fashions, not crediting them, and just basically making it sexier. Okay, I'm going to bring this up. Yeah. And please correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Alcohol that is not wheat-based. Such as rice? Um... Rice wine? Yeah, oat vodka. Vodka's Absolute. Russian. Yeah, but, 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 like, are you talking about white in a westernized context? White in a westernized context, yeah. Yeah. So, like, or even, because you brought up gypsies. Yeah. So, like, you know, absent being mostly Eastern European. Yeah, the Romanians. <laughs> But honestly, though, like the like the Bohemian fashion is like, oh my goodness, we're just going to follow the gypsy ways. Like, that's really disrespectful in many ways. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't think of anything else. <laughs> yeah, but that's quite a cool list. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, please stop stealing things, white people. <laughs> uh, we can say that because we're not white. Well, I am pretty white. You're pale, but you're moldy. Yeah, yeah, I'm pale. You're 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 a pale moldy. Yeah, I'm a pale ale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is that your rap sona now, pale ale? Oh, I don't know. I don't what know. What is your rap sona? Now, now that, 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 that brings up a good point because I always go back to when I had to create my first persona, which is. Give me a. The, 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 I was the ripe old age of 12, which was 1998. Yeah. And, and, and this is when Quake was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. And my old next door neighbour... Quake is a game, right? Quake is a game. Yeah. It's a futuristic first-person shooter. Oh, right. Right? And like a Call of Duties. Yeah, like your Call of Duties. Um, but then you had to create your own username. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Which was? It was Canary. Canary? Yes. Really? Why? Uh, if, you, if you know my last name. Canada. Yes. So it's a pun. Yes. Oh. So it's a pun. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Change the A to last A to a Y. Canary. Yes. And, and that's how it started. Right. So how did you change over to the Manus, which is, I believe, your rap sona now? Uh, okay. The, the minus goes back to an LTSA ad. Yeah? Which is... LTS? What does that mean? LTSA yeah. stands for Land and Transport Safety Authority. Yeah? And they had a drink driving campaign. Yes. Where to, to, it was to stop a, a workmate from drinking. Yeah? He, he went into his car thinking that he was going to drive home and he brings out a rugby ball. <laughs> Brings out a dummy. You go, oh, you manus. That's how it started. You manus. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And you're the dummy. Yeah, uh, but like I, I, I would do something that was almost stupid. Yeah. But it's better for all. Yeah, the manus. That's why the term manus means affectionate fool. Oh really? Yes. So, was that transport ad more su successful than the ghost chips ad? No. No. The, the, the ghost chips was way more successful than you realise. Oh, really? Uh, I mean, I, I know it's brought a few memes, and we never say ghost chips. Like, everyone just knows what it means, but... <laughs> Honestly, though, that was a triumph. Yeah, or, or as I like to do it, I, I don't like the ghost chips part. Yeah. But there's another bit that yeah. I like. Charlene thinks you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and uh, you know how the last, you know how the last bit, like someone just became really eloquent for no apparent reason. Yeah. I had, I, I came up with a largely complicated situation in my head. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> but but honestly, the ghost trips was just. <laughs> I mean, people were selling ghost trips on Trade Me. People was people were basically talking, making memes about ghost trips. People were basically reenacting the scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably the most successful um, public. 
had a public safety campaign. Yeah, you know? because, because like like they, <laughs> I don't want you good chefs. <laughs> because uh, our TSA did generally like to hit those demographics. Yeah. Where there's a lot of drink driving. Yeah. In the Manus case, it was workplace. Yeah. Like post workplace. Yes. Like go back for a couple of beers, then drive back. Yeah. And in this case, it was that young... Teenage partying fools. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, no, he got chips. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I think it went beyond that, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it went a little bit into pop culture. <laughs> yeah, it's now, it's, it's now part of Kiwiana, you know, like the Buzzy Bee and Jandals. Yeah. Ghost chips. <laughs> and then with, the, with their new one... Yeah. It's more to do with... How can I make the better? How I can make the better situation for the other person who may be possibly drink driving. Yes. So like, let me drive you home. Yeah. How about the no beersies one? Uh, no beersies for for you, Jono. <laughs> I, I I always like to bring that up. Yeah. On on, on random occasions. What? Like on quiz nights. Yeah. I, I always like to bring that up. I, last time I brought that up was last weekend. Yes. Um. Because we won a bottle of wine, didn't we? Yes. Yes, we did. Um, and then the person who won the wine um, asked us to come around yeah. and drink said bottle of wine. Yeah. And I said to another person, because she was being a little bit... Inebriated? Inebriated. I said, no more beers in <laughs> Um, I, I even like to do that in regard to non-alcoholic substances too. Yeah. Even when it comes to water. Or coffee for me. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially coffee for you. One sip of coffee for Sophie will turn her into a deranged psycho... Uh, no, deranged... Psychosomatic. No, 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 not psychosomatic. Oh, deranged uh, woman child. Woman child. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with woman child. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is the difference between a, being a adult and being a woman child. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. And I like how the No Beersies ad, they just portray the water like some sort of refreshing thing. Like they, like they completely copy the beer ads for the, for the water. <laughs> so it's like, ah, oh, look at this refreshing bottle of glass of pure, unadulterated water. Yes. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Back to your rap sona. Uh, yeah, so so right, right now it's 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 DJ Manus or MC Manus. MC Manus. What does MC Manus do? Um, basically take the piss out of anyone. Yeah. So so like a borderline comedian. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so in between your DJing, you're basically throw shade. Yes. And criticism. Like, oh, look at that doofus over there with his two girlfriends. I bet he doesn't know that, they have, that they've got boob jobs recently or something, rather. No, 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 but, okay, okay. Oh, oh, look at those, oh, look at those, look at that man over there. He can't even, say, he can't even satisfy his girlfriends. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 I'm a little bit more subtle than that. Like, go. So, like, oh, that guy hanging around with those two chicks, he's going to be poor at the end of the night. Oh, <laughs> oh man! <laughs> yep. Because, because like there are such things as sugar daddies, but also food daddies. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what a food daddy is? Someone who's too poor to be a sugar daddy, but pretends to be a one. No, no. What's a food daddy then? Food daddy is a woman. Yeah. Who goes out on dates with other guys? Yeah. Purely to eat. Oh really? <laughs> And nothing more. Oh. <laughs> because, like, because of popular culture. Yeah. There is that predetermined assumption. That men will pay for the food. And women will. Have. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. One night stands. Infamous, aren't they? Yes. Oh look at that! Oh look at that woman over there. She she's just sitting all by herself. I bet her date didn't work out. Uh, oh. Yeah. Looks like she's not getting anything tonight. <laughs> oh god. That's you, right? That's CJ minus. Yeah, pretty much. 
what, what about you? No, no, we need to talk about this a little bit further. What's the style of clothing as how would you DJ? On on a turntable? Or... Oh, okay. Would you have a computer on hand? Now, now because I know a few DJs, Yeah. Um, it would be relatively simple. Yeah. Um, it, it, it'll be the conventional setup. Yeah. Um, would you have a turntable? Would you be wearing cat two, backwards? Two turntables, a mixer, and a laptop. A cat back, cat worn backwards. No. What would you wear? I I would wear a stylish um, brim hat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like a fedora. Yeah. Or a top hat. A bowler hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. More like a top hat. Oh, cool. And your clothes. Clothes of um. So like it, it'll be stereotypical pimp ish. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys! You have to have a huge brim hat then, like a. Yeah, that's what I was meaning. Oh, like sombrero. No, 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 not no, yeah, just a little bit sombrero, but it's like it's the same material as a top hat. Sparkly, purple. Purple. Yeah. Definitely really purple. purple. Definitely purple. Well, for me, DJ Pickles, I imagine she'll be wearing like a stylishly tailored suit. Waistcoat, um, three quarter length maxi dress. She'll be she'll be wearing low he- low heeled boots. Um, you know, like, you know, like a Victor- like a Victorian suit of sorts. Yes. And you know, with a white shirt, um, blue brocade, waistcoat and dress. Um, I th- I think she'll be wearing uh, what's it? Maybe like a stylish hat you might see at at Scott's, or maybe even a top hat. And she'll be like um. Turning, turning the table. She'll be a bit like Mary Poppins. She'll be turning the tables very elegantly, like this. Okay. Like um, with a with a with a knowing look on her face. Now. Because... And then she'll and then she'll be very graceful. She'll be drinking her tea, getting. <laughs> 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 she'll be drinking her tea from a bone china cup, sitting her tea down, oh. adjusting things a little bit, having another sip of tea, and then she'll be politely taking requests. And then she'll be very, and then she'll be teaching people their manners. <laughs> yeah. She'll be teach, she'll be giving pointers of etiquette, saying that, oh my my dear my dear lady, you should my dear lady, you should get yourself off the floor. Oh my dear gentleman, this is not a place of rest. <laughs> oh now now. And I'll be excessively <laughs> polite and giving, and it's like my my dear my dear my dear uh, my dear companion, your. My dear companion, your dress looks absolutely gorgeous tonight. Yeah. I do admire the material you use. She'll be speaking slowly and with a posh accent. Okay, okay. I, I, I have a few questions to ask. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Are you wearing a hat and does it have a flower in it? It might, 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 might have a cluster of flowers or may have a cluster of feathers. Or maybe a feather. Okay. Something that's really elegant. Okay. Do you bring your blunt umbrella with you? No, it'll be even more elegant than that. It'll be like a um, your typical slightly frilly, maybe black umbrella with a wooden handle. It's got a sword in it. So if someone tries to cross me when they're drunk, I just take the sword out and swipe them away. <laughs> Is Do you pack everything into a brown briefcase? No, I think we're packing everything into a carpet bag. Into a carpet bag? Yes, even into a carpet bag. And then at the end of the night, yes, you pack everything up. Yes, in, into the carpet bag, and leave in my, leave in my I don't know Rolls Royce or no no no, no, what? You leave with your umbrella. Oh, like float away. Yeah. So all I do is um, I pack everything up, grab my umbrella, go upstairs, and basically jump off the roof and glide to my next destination. Or now, fly to my next destination. Can, can I suggest a name for you? Yes. MC Mary Pickles? No, MC Pickles. No, but, but like borderline Mary Poppins. Oh, yeah, true. MC Mary, <laughs> MC Mary Pickles, yeah. <laughs> so basically I'll be, I'll be take, take my umbrella, I'll be basically walking outside, open up my umbrella, take my carpet bag, click my heels and just fly away. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and your first track yes. is a remix. Yeah. Of Rihanna's umbrella, yeah, and supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> can you 
you do that? Or how about um, Anaconda with F- Phantom of the Opera? That must be one of my remixes. Oh, no, but it has to be one of the Mary Poppins soundtrack. If you still want to contact um, the conflicted hosts, Mike and Sophie, they can be found on their social media sites. Mike will be on at the minus T H E M A R N U S on his various social platforms. Sophie, on the other hand, could be contacted on Sophie nine seven oh nine on all platforms apart from Instagram. Also, you can contact the posts themselves on podcast related things on as yet undecided at gmail dot com or find them on Twitter. Tumblr and Facebook at AYU Podcast. <laughs> so, was it, yeah, so that was quite monotone. 